June in Palm Springs, which means that Pride Month is only four months away. Happy Not Pride. November. November. Yeah. November. We do Pride Month in the winter here when it's a more reasonable, pleasant temperature. Yeah, it's like 85, 90 during November here during Pride. I already got sweaty pits and we've literally not even walked into the, we've only walked from our condo to the district. I've been sort of walking like this, so I keep some air flowing and I wore a loose shirt. We are headed to a fundraiser for Pride. It is a barbecue on Arenas, which is the Gay Street and Chin Shrinks. I believe it's the Gay District. The Irish used to call it. A district. It's a district. block. It's like a block and a half. There's a barbecue. There are backyard games. I'm not sure. I think like cornhole. They came up with some like funny gay pun for cornhole, but I was like, isn't cornhole a funny gay pun for cornhole? And then there is no. a DJ, which I am not, you know, we can do that. I know, it's gonna be so loud. Everything's so loud here, and I don't understand. I was a DJ and worked in nightclubs and went to nightclubs, and I already am hearing things that aren't there. How are all these, so we're like teenagers in Palm Springs. So how are all these people who are like adults in Palm Springs? Because they turn off their hearing aid. If you have a hearing aid and you turn it off, are you then not affected by loud music? It's like a headache from all that something. Let's go meet some new friends. The party's on. Hey guys. Cookies. Do you want birthday cake? It's your birthday tomorrow. Do you want red velvet? You love red velvet. They don't have a carrot cake. Or we could do like an M&M. Like, like when we were at Ikea and we hadn't even like stepped in yet and you were already picking out a new bedroom set. We just entered and we've seen the first vendor and it's cookies. But I do like the birthday cake idea. It's my birthday tomorrow or in two days. See you on birthday cake. Let's get another couple on the floor. Let's go see what's going on. Well, we can see what's going on and get the cookie. That's you know, guys, then I'm gonna get full. When I get full and it's on sugar, you know I get really sleepy and then I get cranky. First impressions. Sort of exactly what I expected is a block. Anybody else want to pop a balloon for prizes? I was not exactly the pop game with the balloon. Nothing sharp in your pockets. That seems dangerous. All right, here we go. Let's make it what happen, people. Backyard games. That's, that's like what you play as a kid. You like pump each other and pop a balloon. No hands on the balloon. I don't know what kind of Christian school you were going to. One, two, three. We were not pumping each other. You had to leave six inches for Jesus. I used to DJ high school dances and proms and stuff, and a few of the schools I went to, some of the private Christian schools, someone would walk around with a balloon and put it between people while they were dancing. Up? No, that balloon, that balloon was Jesus? Yeah. All oh. three. We've seen everything. We had a cookie. What do we do next? Get some food. We've not seen the food. What do you want to eat? Jackfruit barbecue. Mm -hmm. And Doug is waiting very patiently for his barbecue. Should be an express line for dogs. Jerry drunk man from the front of the line came up. Said they ran out of food and they said 10 minutes, but that was 35 minutes ago. And at this point, he's too invested to leave, but he thinks I should leave. <laughs> okay, so what's our next? There's, there's two other options. Let's go. But those lines are so long. This was the short line. What if they end this? It's short because there's no food. <laughs> right. You see that dog? That dog's name was Miley Ray. Hey, it looks like a Miley Ray. Although, a little chunky. Not, not like we don't, Montana. We don't have not judging. Not a value statement. No. Just take it. So you look like a Hannah Montana. 